Hello again and welcome back to XCOM Long War. So I have a uh, moderate alien abduction to go to in an urban large structure. With that in mind I've kitted out the team. Commanding officer here is Major Gypsy Zykova. Bringing a couple of high explosive and an arc thrower to try to get a capsule too. We've got our standard anti-tank gunner loadout. Our standard medic loadout. We've got an engineer bringing all the alien grenades. Or chem grenades rather. Got super beefy assault here, Sergeant Unpronounceable, Devil Dog, bringing the chitin plate and the reinforced armor. Uh, standard kitted assault with the alloy, a flashbang, standard kitted scout, and an infantry. Not quite a full A team, but uh, I just really want to get some captures going. You'll be heading into Japan for the next mission. We've gotten several reports indicating that the aliens have stepped up the number of attempted abductions. We'll have to move quickly if we want to slow the spread of panic. Understood, Bradford. Really want to back myself a muton and a floater. I keep saying that. Hey, one day it'll happen. Want into the building because cover here is abysmal. I don't believe I've ever played on this map before actually. It's just a... Oh, we've already got a mutant and a bunch of floaters. Well, that's pretty much the sort of things I wanted to kill. Right, unfortunately, we uh, have to. Terrible cover options. Out. Okay, let's try to thin the herd a little. Yeah, yeah would be nice. Oh, what do you got to flank on that one? Beautiful. That's two down into easy capture range. I doubt I'll be that lucky, but it uh, gives me some options. Let's just tuck you forwards as well. Actually, you are our capture specialist, so you want to be... Mm, you don't really want to be that far forwards. You are the tankiest fellow on the team, so we'll get you there to act as bait. probably gonna run. He could be a problem flank wise. So we will suppress the one that's most likely to cause me grief. I think it's probably worth taking him out rather than taking the risk. behind full cover at the front. That then means that uh, Freaky can get his ass up there. I'm, I'm kind of tempted to smoke us out. Or you could just dash around there. potentially be flanked. And again he can also potentially be flanked up there. There's quite literally nowhere he can go. So he's not going to be flanked with ease. Kind of want to swing down there but I don't want to risk antagonizing anymore. I suppose you've got some corner cover there. It's easily destructible corner cover, but it's corner cover nonetheless. 
fucking hell spells, really? Fucking really? Laser guided fucking aliens as usual. They just cannot fucking miss their first couple of shots of the game. They're just automatic hits. Fuck me, they actually missed something. Yes, well, you're just being annoying. ET's trying to crawl up my flank. Yes, I know, I know. Okay then, shotgunners. Let's get our run and gun on. Go fuck yourself. Really? Really? So I wouldn't mind the uh, single hit pointing if it meant I could get a capture. But one hit point without a capture is ish. Now, is that within actual capture arc thrower range? It is. Let's go for it. Beauty. So do not blow that area up. Getting it done. Under strict instructions to not blow that up. Okay, 5368, let's take that. Nice. Another one bites the dust. And then you head forward. Kim grenade. You can actually heal up my gunner. Suppress. Scout can then not flank him. We'll just be ready. Um, I don't know, moving up is so much danger of triggering something else, isn't it? Just reload. Don't do anything silly. We need to preserve you alive for captures. Okay. Get a hollow target on him. Think you can weaken him a bit for me? Can you? No, you can't. Let's see if anyone else can. Uh, how about you, war dog? Take him down. A peg. No. Negative ammo from spent. Let's rock. Damn it! up to the task. Yeah, I don't want to flank him. Okay, that's beautiful. Just don't panic. Okay, he is chemmed. He is suppressed. He is at one hit point. You can just reload. You can just reload. You can um, get around there to help cover in case shit goes bad. 
can't go down like a good little muton. Exactly as planned. Oh, you can't quite get into capture range. It's okay, you can be in capture range for next turn instead. Let's just... Yep, he's still acided. We'll flashbang him. Since we can't actually suppress. I mean, he's got acid, so he shouldn't do anything, but you never know. The acid might wear off and allow him to do something daft. Okay, time to shine. Can we go two for two? We can and have. You little beauty. Okay, time for shit to get real. No, there's really nowhere for you to pop to get that. Probably lost my chance at that meld if I'm honest. But the building is at least clear. Roger, Roger. <coughs> still have combat music. Yeah, I have no uh, reason for there to be combat music. Maybe it's because they're stunned? I don't know. Oh, here come three thin men and here two sectoids. on but you really want to be behind better cover where are my IX there not anywhere usable moving yeah Kim Nades are not gonna do a great deal for me here Right there, got my eyes on. Okay, you hunker. You head up to a position for later. You head up there. And hunker. is just gonna end up with them spitting poison at me. But, um, yeah. What can you do, you know? So you just move on up. And you move on up. And let's see what they do. Hey, 
getting a 66% chance. Seriously? That's insane. I mean, obviously the damage reduction there is uh, doing its job. But the fact you can even get a 66% chance is fairly ridiculous. Okay, now they've got one unit of overwatch. Which means you need to move across in their line of sight. Draw it out. The problem I've got here is all this stuff is very, very destructible. But now you vacated. You can get some high X in. Uh, no, we don't want to blow up our cover, we want to blow up their cover. Like so. It's just like that. that your shots are still terrible. Shimmy shammy across. Well bisectoid. Moving. Another one up. Say bye bye. I'd like Next to capture right, a thin man, but um it is too bloody dangerous. Now if that is the last of those... No, nope, there's still another sectoid and two more thin men kicking about. So let's just uh, run around there. See what, if anything, we can see. Suppress that bad boy. And then we were down to just a couple more left. Seriously injured. Mm. That's peculiar. Well, if all it's worth, let's bring them up. Where the sectoid's hiding. Alien object in sight. I'm still missing a thin man. But I think at this point. Oh, and there is the other thin man. Where is he? behind me. Yeah, well, it doesn't really surprise me that he hit. Now you've got a freebie shot on the sectoid. And a freebie shot on him. Or should I duck into cover, actually? Well, let's just see. Hold on a second. Because yes, you can probably double tap him down. Oof, we'll just clear him in one. Need be. Take a bit of cover. Uh, we've got suppressions, we've got hollow targeting, we've got all sorts of stuff. from there, did you? Ooh. Meat 
Bounty. More importantly, it got me the two captives I really wanted. It means I can finally get working on the alien grenades as well. If I have the alloys to do it. Which I may not. I'm certainly impressed by our soldiers' combat abilities. Yeah, but I think we're gonna go lock and load. Yeah, not too shabby, not too shabby. Another live capture? Please give my thanks to the main commander. I know it can't be an easy task trying to bring them in alive. You can trust that the research team will make it worth the trouble. I'm sure you'll make it worth the trouble, love. Uh, foundry. Nope. Build by. I may need to do a um, interrogation to have access to the grenades. I'm sure it's a foundry project. Surgery, security training. Yep, I think I'm going to need to do. Muton autopsy and this interrogation. This is the most physically aggressive specimen we've discovered so far, which the troops fondly refer to as the Muton. I can only assume there's a colourful backstory <laughs> for such a designation. Well, I love those cutscenes. Yeah, maybe the uh, Muton autopsy. We saw that. Out. I don't know. I could have sworn it was just an immediate uh, thing you could do. Now, what I wanted to do with those alloys, I know there are research projects I require. I think I'm I'm fine on Gauss weaponry for the moment. Or was it a yeah, grenade launcher? But now I no longer have the cash, unless I go to the grey market, sell off those because I'm never going to bother making any of those. I've got quite some time before my uh, mech's actually ready but I'd like to get them equipped and ready to go yeah I want them ready to rock when I do finally get around to augmenting some soldiers I'm going to wait for advanced gauss first, so that I can um, make a railgun for it. Nap of Earth, very large, going to have to ignore it. Hope it spawns a mission for me. Ah, it was a terror ship. Fuck. Well, here we go then. I'm going to uh, put a team together. And I'll see you in a few moments. Right, so let me introduce you to the team. We've got uh, Captain Bad Santa Carol, Commander, bringing a flashbang rather than a smoke. We've got Engineer bringing double AP, double HE, our only explosives on this mission. Scout bringing double flashbang and a shotgun rather than their usual SMG. A sniper, which I'm a bit dubious about, given it's an urban block. But I, I want to have the hitting power. One assault, tombstone, in full on tank mode. And of course, a pair of anti mech gunners for cyber discs and mech toids. So, with all that being said, 11th of September, that's an ominous date to be having a terror attack, isn't it? Cheers, Brad. I think I may be losing Australia. I know, Brad. Yeah, I'm seriously thinking putting that satellite up there is a complete waste of time. It's just too far gone into panic. Especially if they're going to be hitting it with terror attacks every single month. But we've got Yay, fast roping. Central, yeah, let's have a look. Big sky. Squad is clear 
to engage hostile targets. Watch your fire out there. We have civilians on the ground. Repeat, civilians are in the AO. There are indeed civilians all over the place. So, what do we start with? Well, we've got to make sure that building's clear before attempting anything else. Not massively helpful, if I'm honest. Let's just see where that ballast scanner actually ends up going. That is... Can I just have a look? That is... One pack of chrysalids. And who knows what else. Um, that is probably going to trigger. No, actually, that should block line of sight, I think. Oh, but it has triggered a berserker and a pair of floaters. Tell me you've got that berserker. Yeah. We need no misses and no panics. Okay, peeps, you got that. No missing and no panicking. Are we all clear on that? No, that that's that's a miss. Remember what I said about no missing and no panicking? What you've done there is missed twice. It's a bit more like it. Let's try that again. Stop trying to intimidate me, you're not that scary. Shotgun can wait. Sniper is short. Auto laser doesn't have double tap, so it's basically just two shots from a shotgun. And that's the problem with missing. out in the open which is not ideal due to those floaters but the floaters will probably go after civvies. Our horrible feeling is not actually behind cover. I misclicked a bit there. Oh fucking hell spells. I'm never gonna get to cover. literally never going to get to any sort of cover. Um, okay. The sniper. Have we got any civvies here that are even remotely fucking savable? Like in any way, shape or form. There's that fella, but that leaves him flanked by that. Is there anything else on this map? Can't really tell from this angle. Um, well, let's deal with what we can deal with first. Let's see if we can get rid of that fucking floater. Beautiful, beautiful. 
Um, you, for some reason, are not behind cover. That crystal is probably going to kill you if you stay there. little bit of cover. That's slightly better cover. It'd be nice if you could hit that for me. Not ideal, but it's something. That's a long shot. We, we got plenty of shots on the uh, close one. That's easy to deal with. It's the one that's far away that's the problem. Okay, let's just get you behind some semblance of cover. Now I know this bastard has lightning reflexes, so... He basically needs to die and I can't rely on overwatch shots. Okay, now we have one unit of problem. <coughs> you can't even get close enough to assist. One CV is out. Our work here is done. Yeah, I thought that was going to be a problem. Those chrysalids are just too close. Stop punching me. Go punch some civilians. They're just going to turn to zombies, which turn into more chrysalids. But yeah, I'm thinking. Australia is pretty much a lost cause. It is overrun by many unpleasant creatures. Wow, they've got regen as well. pistol shot on him. And then move across to there. And reload. Somewhat tempted to have you open that door where I know there's whole bunch of chrysalids flashbang them and then retreat. I mean it will slow them down a little bit. Although no, if you 
open that door you don't get no that was stupid of me fuck it just take a shot I forgot to open the door they don't get to move okay that fucker has to die let's just flush that floater get a shot of him Him with an AP, you can weaken him with an AP. What else have we got? In shot. Yeah, it's something. You do not have lock and load, do you? Nope. So you're going to need to walk forwards into cover just in case a floater turns up. We're just going to have to pray this AP does enough. I mean, we still have a major chrysalid problem. That was not enough. Okay. Can you finish him off? I mean, you don't need to do much, just one. Yes, I know, zombies coming in. We can start fighting an orderly retreat back to the start soon. be honest we're not going to save any more civvies we've done one to make sure we don't auto fail the mission that's about as good as we're going to get clever girl hiding out of my line of sight in the fog We're far enough away. They can't necessarily get us with a single. Okay. I think that should be far enough away. Let's also toss an AP down there. Fastball special. that one. Beautiful. You may as well overwatch. You go back. You go back. You are still in the danger zone so you go back. Zombie. Camera totally spazzing out. And then retreat. Reload. You were just running like fuck, basically. Okay, you reload. And 
and reload and hope there are no crystals close enough to cause us serious problems. I wonder where the hell those floaters went as well. He definitely can't reach us without double moving. And that one's gone off to find some civvies to murder. Okay then. We don't really want to advance in on them. down there somewhere and one up there. Fuck. Okay, that's one serious unit of problem. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, you clever little bitch. Is super cunning. I think it's time for a physician to heal thyself. Well done, tanking that. Uh, Chrysalid hit. Yeah, they're feasting on all those civvies. Please tell me that was a double move by that chrysalid. Coming out of the fucking walls, man. I know there are still floaters kicking around. Good effort, good effort. Okay, you really need to run like fuck. <coughs> I mean, to be fair, everyone kind of needs to uh, run like fuck. Do not want to be anywhere near that building. Shit is getting real. Kind of a waste of those overwatches, but um Oh god, will this nightmare never end? They're just running back and forth butchering civvies. They've got to run out of people to munch on sooner or later. I'll take it back, the triple cyber disc was preferable to this.
Yes, I know, there are still floaters kicking around as well. Chrysalids, but I can still hear floaters. Mm. That to me means trouble. That's another pack of evil bastards. I'm just gonna have to creep forward inch by inch. Chuck a scanner out. See what we can see up there. Nothing at all. Interesting. Well, the camera certainly thinks it has something. Oh, what am I hearing? Zombie. Where'd it go? Oh, chrysalid. An injured one. Oh, that's not an injured one. zombie but and where the hell was that other chrysalid it was here and it's just completely disappeared More zombies. Yeah, there's definitely at least one more pack of floaters kicking around. Okay, you can just get a bit of cover. Reload. Uh, let's have the scout advance actually. around the corner. You head up there. Yeah, so far there is still another chrysalid around here somewhere. We can't fucking see. 
which is um, terrifying. You can head up and get a reload. And you can sit there. Grab an overwatch. Oh. Ah, there it is. Flanking us. Cheeky little bastard. Okay, that's the end of the chrysalids. Now it's just all the zombies they made. Any more chrysalids are spawned from the zombies they made. And those floaters I keep hearing. Right, let's begin by tucking you into that corner. You can slowly swing around and up onto the roof. I just realised, I'm pretty sure this is... Isn't this the portent map? I thought this was familiar. Anyway, uh, before I continue, I am going to have a cigarette and a cup of coffee and I'm also desperate for a slash. Be right back. So you know, thinking about it, I should really put forward a uh, special terror mission uh, crew two anti-mech gunners, a scout and five assaults with shotguns because honestly nothing else seems to make a dent in these chrysalids get everyone fully loaded except you going to go along there with them. I'm going to put the sniper and the uh, gunners on the roof and everyone else on my way. can proceed at ground level. <laughs> sniper numero uno. I'm oh, sorry, gunner numero uno. Kill switch. Awesome nickname. Peacefully quiet. Okay, let's have you come around that way. Understood, sir. Around to there. You come around that way. Breach and clear. All in one swift economic. Can't quite make it, okay. That'll have to do then. And you can also swing around and take up the position on the other side of that doorway. Creep up to join your mates. Yep, I know there are aliens over there. Oh, Jesus, that's not a cyber disc as well, is it? Okay. Head on up. What do we see? Nothing. Head on up. you head on up. I'll pop the door. You pop that door. I'm 
creep forward. Okay, that's not a cyber disk. That's a uh, mechtoid, a couple of sectoids, and one unit of drone. Any of you guys got eyes on the drone? Yep, take him. dash around there but who knows what the hell else I'm gonna discover yes. fuck it let's try to get a second civvy I know oh, you're taking fire scrapper ah that's what we've discovered a sectoid okay can anyone help with that not really It doesn't yet have its shield up, so try and get a little damage on it while we can. So if you creep forward. Can you get them both? You can get one or the other. Well, the mechtoid's far more likely to kill us than the sectoid is. on that bastard. Maybe take out whatever mechtoid is shielding it. You do the same. And you need to drop down to get into what could be a firing position next turn. So I don't think it's going to come forward so these are not really going to be able to do anything. Okay and floaters Floaters are active. Oh, turns out they are close enough. Okay. Uh, something. It's something. It's unexpected. That was disgustingly fortunate. Okay, they're just fucking about. I'm happy with that. That gives me a chance to take out the mech. That was obscenely fucking fortunate. I mean, really. Yeah, let's drop that fucker. If they're not going to shield it, Jesus. Damage is so pitiful. Bring big guns. How the hell does a sniper have line of sight? I oh, know you do. Well, I was thinking, how the hell does he have line of sight, but you don't? Yeah, man, let's just get a bit of double tap action on it. That shit is what we brought you for. Beautiful shooting people. Let's see if we can knock off. Right. It was a start. You can't realistically get any. Maybe you can't quite get there. You oddly also cannot quite get there. You can get. range penalty though. Maybe flash him. I'll flash the front one at least. Give me a chance to get close. Oh no, he's 
flashbang, but might as well take a shot anyway. Oh, was not expecting that to happen. Let's try, try, try. Oh, some serious shooting. You've got way too much ground to try to cover. Count we got what one sectoid three floaters. One sectoid three floaters. Floaters could be an issue. But let's put our tankiest member of the team up front. There are the floaters. E sectoid. Go on, shoot at him. No, don't shoot at the civvy, you fucking bastard. Damn it, there's only one civvy left on the map now. Yeah. Roof was not massively useful because it wasn't massively useful. Right. What have we got? Got a HE, where can you get to with it? You get to that corner. You can then make an awful lot of cover go goodbye. Now, can you get anywhere where you can actually take advantage of that cover going? I don't think you can. Nope. Okay, move up for next turn then. You hit 157% already. Why not try a second? Oh, it may have been a bit of an ask, but it was worth a shot. Okay, our sniper is just going to have to reload. Nice, nice, nice. bold are you? Very fucking bold. Should have been one tile further to the other side really. It's a free shot on that one. And a bonus shot on that one. It should have been one tile further across to deal with that bloody sectoid. You never know, Scout might, might do the job. No. That would have been beautiful if that Scout had been able to uh, take that shot. Sexoid man. That sectoid is going bye bye. You can't see through there, can't you? Yeah, that's a wall. Go on, tombstone. Pop that fucker. No longer a threat. <sighs> Two saved. Townsville, is that even a real place? You expect that to be like an American town, not an Australian one. So yeah, Australia has definitely gone back up to 100 panic. Oh, that was unfortunate. Okay, infantry, gotta go lock and load really. Do love me some lock and load. Yeah, panic has increased everywhere. Jesus, yeah, that's, that, that's looking like a complete waste of a satellite. It really is. Still, 
what can you do? Yeah, you don't need to tell me, I know. Nap of Earth, small scout. That's probably going to land. I'm going to ignore it and let it land. Yep. Okay, that's more like it. But that, I feel, is going to be a job for another time. Until then, once again, thank you very much for watching.